Good evening. We begin with the murder investigation we've been following this month. An Ottawa man under arrest tonight charged in the Victoria Day long weekend double homicide of two Mississauga teens in Pembroke. Now, until today, police said nothing about potential suspects and described the incident as a targeted shooting. It happened shortly before 3 a.m. at a home on McKay Street. A second crime scene was located nearby on Dunlop Street. CTV's Dylan Dyson has more. Just over a week after a violent and frightening Victoria Day weekend, a break in the case. I am pleased to announce that we have made an arrest in connection with the May 22nd murders. 21-year-old Zachary Lamoureux was taken into custody on Tuesday with assistance from the Ottawa police. Lamoureux is charged with two counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempt to commit murder using a firearm. Two 16-year-olds from Mississauga, Noah Annis and Alondo Davidson, were shot and killed the morning of May 22nd. Another 16-year-old from Mississauga was also sent to hospital with serious injuries. I would like to again express our sincere condolences to the families of the two murder victims of the May 22nd incident here in the city of Pembroke. Police reiterating that this was a targeted shooting. While we have arrested one person in this case, the investigation is far from over. Now is the time for witnesses to come forward. I'm reading from that uh, that uh, uh, there's more investigation to happen and perhaps there, there's other uh, arrests that might, be, uh, that might be made. Pembroke's mayor says residents remain concerned following an incident that is out of character for the Ottawa Valley. It's natural that uh, uh, the whole community, including myself, will continue to have a little bit of uh, trepidation uh, uh, that uh, we are uh, uh, still dealing with this. Investigators say they are continuing to discuss any possible links between this targeted shooting and another that killed a man in Renfrew days earlier, but will not say why these 16-year-olds were targeted. Dylan Dyson, CTV News, Pembroke.